Japanese chef right now. Um, but he decided to go with the writing class because um, he knew that I had taken one English class in all of my four years at college, and I was such a terrible writer that my teacher threatened to fail me. So he thought it would be kind of funny to put me in this class with all of these aspiring writers who had stories to tell, and they graduated college with degrees in English. Um, and I, I, being the, the wonderful student that I was, I had this great attitude, and I went into the class on that first day. And I told my teacher, I said, I will show up every week for this eight-week writing course, but I'm not going to write a single thing, and even if I do write a single thing, I'm not going to share it with anyone else. So as you can tell, I was his, his model student. He was very excited <laughs> to have me in the class. Next slide. And then one week, everything changed, and that was when my teacher gave us this assignment to write a scene showing humiliation. And for whatever reason, I was struck by the memory of something that happened to me when I was in high school. So I was in my 10th grade biology class, and I don't remember what we were studying. I'm assuming it was human reproduction. I just remember I was sitting there doing my usual thing of, you know, kind of daydreaming and not really paying attention, and all of a sudden my teacher called on me and he said, Becca, why don't you stand up and tell the class the characteristics you would want in a boyfriend? And this was high school. Everyone just started laughing, and my face turned bright red, and I remember I sat next to this really cute guy who was poking me in the side. Come on, Becca, tell us what you want in a man. <laughs> and it was an awful experience. So I started writing um, in my writing class about this girl who's 16, and she's sitting in her biology class, and her teacher asks her this same totally inappropriate question. And I finished writing the scene, and I went on to write one chapter, two chapters, three chapters. And when I had three chapters, I thought, um, this story is awesome. Someone will want to publish it. I must send it to editors in New York right now. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't realize you have to have an entire story written before you send it off. <laughs> any point. So I sent it off to anyone who I thought would take it. Editors, agents, everyone. And I got my very first rejection letter. 